I'm Laura and this is Trip Train Trilogy. Today I'll be doing the literal log lines challenge. This challenge was created by Shaylin Wrights, which I will link down below. Now she compared this tag to the hashtag describe a movie plot badly, which I think is pretty accurate. The point of this challenge is to give a one sentence summary about one of my stories that is both terrible yet surprisingly accurate. Now all of these stories are in different stages of development and their titles along with some of their plots may change as I write more of them. Especially the titles considering I spent hours today thinking of titles for some of these because most of them I actually hadn't thought of titles for because it's not like I'm going to publish them real soon so I didn't really bother thinking of a title. I was just like this one's epic fantasy. This one is sci-fi so I decided to give them a bit more concrete titles for your enjoyment. So anyway I'll just roll with it. So anyway the way I'm going to do this is as I'm saying the log line I'm going to have the title up on the screen. Okay, okay, good. Now let's get into it. Despite every other sentence being foreshadowing, the plot twist still feels out of nowhere. Exactly what it says on the tin. The German witch trials featuring zombies. Why you and your friends should not hire a bunch of criminals and start a superhero gang. Someone who enjoys killing people but feels really bad about it. It's the end of the world as we know it. And I feel fine. Why are people with magic always oppressed by or hiding from normal people if they can literally blow up buildings with their mind? I don't know, but let's reverse it and see how us normies handle it. It won't be pretty. Why you shouldn't let your boss download your mind. An apple a day will keep the doctor away, along with everyone you know and love because eating healthy will erase you from existence. Every protagonist is a different character's antagonist. Girl can enter any book, but only enters those in public domain or written by me due to copyright. I thought bringing the murdered back for revenge was a good way to bring justice to a corrupt world. It backfired. This story has a whimsical and creepy aesthetic, but no plot. A grown woman finally learns where babies come from, along with the fact that men actually exist. I originally imagined this as a Disney movie, but now it features enslavement, murder, and torture. Rated G for general audiences. No. You know that awkward person that comes to every event unwanted and uninvited? That's this story if that event was an underground magical agency. And that's all my literal log lines. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, you better have because I spent hours thinking of titles specifically for this. You're welcome. But anyway, yes, I know I missed two weeks videos because as you can see from the different background, I moved into college. So I was a bit busy, and yes, I do plan on making up the four videos I am behind. I plan on doing it probably in November so I can do a nano vlog and a regular video every week. That seems like a good combination because it's kind of like already making these, might as well add another. So yeah. On a side note, I left my camera home, so this is literally my cell phone taped to my camera stand with masking tape quality content. Okay, I think I covered all my bases, so I'll see you later.